A clash over COVID in the governor's race. Bob Stefanowski says Governor Lamont put patients or nursing home patients in danger, I should say. And today, Lamont's fired health commissioner joined him to make that case. News of Connecticut's John Craven has a story from Hartford. Here at the state capitol today, explosive allegations about how Connecticut handled COVID from the state's former health commissioner. I remember like yesterday when I got the call, our first case. Governor Lamont is campaigning on his response to COVID. Thanks everybody for coming. But just days before the election, Lamont's former health commissioner so appeared with his opponent. Renee Coleman Mitchell was fired two months into the pandemic. In a discrimination suit, she claims as early as February 2020, she warned the governor about a need to move swiftly to protect nursing homes, but was met with stiff opposition. Test all the staff, the cleaning crew, the uh, food, food staff, and we need to restrict visitations and was told that you can't do that. The final gubernatorial debate. This week, Lamont fired back. Nobody put infected COVID patients back in with the general population at nursing homes. That's absolutely false. That's Fortunately, we had empty nursing homes, so we're able to put them there. We had wings that were closed down, able to do that. Nursing home workers dealt with shortages of protective gear, and an outside audit found state regulators did a poor job preparing facilities. But Democrats say nursing homes were the only option. If everybody was recovering in the inpatient setting, we will have, would have had no room to take care of the people who were in the emergency departments coming left and right. Stefanowski says he would have handled it differently. We should have prepared better. There were step-down facilities all over the place. We knew this thing was coming. We had months to prepare. Coleman Mitchell's federal lawsuit is still pending DPH recently said they have no interest in settling the case. At the state capitol, John Craven, News 12, Connecticut.